welcome to Joy Fido International. My name is Joy Fido and welcome on board. So today we've got something really exciting for you. Something I really want to chat with you about. This will be really, really valuable to you if you're Nigerian or African. Like 
explained, over 10 companies in the UK are on the London Stock Exchange extracting natural resources from Africa and they are taking away trillions of dollars of natural resources from Africa. But what do we Africans do? We're in poverty. How do you explain that? I cannot explain it because the problem comes from the politicians. They are encouraging this exploitation. And the reason they can do that is because these people work with these enemies of our progress and allow these things to carry on. So they give each other kickbacks and kick forward and kick whatever and they just amass this wealth onto their own personal pockets and they go sending these monies to either Swiss banks or, or American banks or UK banks or wherever and then they allow Nigerians to continue to wallow in poverty. I have children and I would love to come back to my country and live with what nature gave me. How do you do that with a situation that we have right now? How do you do that? I'll give you a scenario. We came in and we wanted to go to the market. This market in Nigeria, Lagos, is called Alaba Market.
interested in all of that. You know what? Because I don't care who wants to rule and who doesn't want to rule this country. All I'm interested in is make sure you take care of the people that you claim to be ruling. All these other parts of the world, people rule us. These various countries that I visit, human beings sit on some office, in some office and claim to be a leader and, and they make things work in that country that people can go and visit. When you come to Nigeria, I'm telling you, when you come to Nigeria, you will see the queue as you're getting through immigration that everybody that's getting into Nigeria are Nigerians. You know how when you arrive in a country and you see, oh, this is for locals and this is for tourists or, or, or for visitors or foreigners. In the case of Nigeria, you will not see 10 people on the foreigner's scheme. And why is that? Because Nigeria does not entertain foreigners. It is not a tourist country. Why would anybody visit a place like this that I'm just trying to explain to you? Because right from the airport, it is an embarrassment to tell yourself you're a Nigerian. I mean, I love my country and everybody that knows me know I love Africa and I love Nigeria. But you cannot keep pretending that everything that is happening in Nigeria is no more. It is not no more. The human beings who kill and maim and destroy in the name of politics and tell themselves they want to get into some office and they get there they do is create pain for the people they are supposed to be ruling. These are the people I'm interested in. These are the people I'm talking to. Because you do not do this. It is against humanity. What are you doing? I mean, you sit there and you actually watch Africans struggle in the rest of the world and look so stupid. Why? Because when these people look at Africa and look at what is going on, why would they not treat us as if we're subhuman? Why? When you cannot think through your head. You, you have access to money for the country. You divert all that money into your personal account. And you tell yourself you're rich. You know, other parts of the world, when people say they're rich, they actually do business. I mean, they work, they earn the money. You see people like, you know, uh, 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 that he became so rich. He's offering a service. When the owner of Microsoft tells you he's rich, you could see the service he offers. When people go and tell themselves Fortune 100, Fortune 500, whatever this fortune is, and they tell you, I am rich because I did this and I did this and I did this. When Africans tell you they're rich, not because they did anything. Airport is an embarrassment to the 
world you can ask me. It's not even as, as it's not anything close to what you would say as a train station in some countries. I visited Hong Kong recently. And I came from China to Hong Kong and I saw this train station it is bigger than an airport that Nigeria calls an airport. It's bigger than what I want to get. And say. So the, the, I, I, I need Nigerian politicians to start thinking for a change. All you have to do is provide infrastructure in your country. In your country. Instead of taking all this money and sending it to various parts of the world and taking it away from your people and putting your people in dire desperation, where unemployed youths now arm themselves and start chasing and terrorizing the whole community, the whole nation is under a state of siege because. Senator thinks that this country doesn't 
children playing football in international cities, in, in, in foreign lands, and people are throwing bananas at our children. Why? Because they say we're primitive. And you see why this is true? Because you cannot even give our children that pride of place. You can't make them feel conf confident and stand tall and say, I am African and I'm proud. Because when people do bad, I'll keep telling you what I see.